Well, you're in luck. If uh, you have a lawnmower that's got rusted uh, base on it and the wheels are falling off, uh, you're going to get to see how I did it. I just did the front two wheels, and then I thought I was all done with everything. And then while mowing today, this here back wheel decided it was going to go and bite the dust also. It's completely separated. Big chunk missing. So, in the next couple days, I'm going to treat you to a special show on how to fix your lawnmower. In, in reality, it's probably better just to throw it away and start it all over, get a brand new one and be done with it. But since I actually have some fiberglass left over from when I worked on my board, and I know how to do it, it's not going to take that long. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. a little weight on to compensate for the handle and all that stuff. It wants to tip backwards this way. It can stay there while I work on it. I don't have to worry about it falling. That works. And of course you want to remove the spark plug cable so uh, if you turn the, the uh, blades there's no chance of it starting I don't think it would start anyway but I've always heard to do that so I'm doing it now there's two more nuts and bolts just like this which was on this side underneath here back up in here which is be too hard for me to film but basically I'm just gonna cut them both off just like I'm gonna do this Be careful where you lay down because now there's a bunch of hot metal pieces laying around here. You don't want to just put your hand on it, it might get fried. More grinding. Now it's off. I'm going to have to grind all this paint and loose rust and all this stuff off all around this corner for the fiberglass to stick. I'm using about 60 grit on a grinder. I got most of what I could get with this grinder. Now I'm going to use one of these things on a drill. Because I got to try to get in the inside of these corners better and the inside and because if it's not clean fiberglass is not going to stick so I'm going to use these, one of these drills I'm going to cut a bunch of pieces of fiberglass probably you know something like this so I can cover up the, the patches I just happen to have a roll of this stuff when I'm working on surfboards a while back. Now 
Now, on this particular mix of resin, you use two parts of epoxy to one part hardener. I got these little containers that I'm just gonna mix it up in. Gotta make sure you get it mixed up good because if it's not, it won't dry properly. You want to wet it first, otherwise it's hard to get it to start going on. Normally you don't need to wet the, the glass before you stick it on, because usually there's backing. In this case there's no backing. So if I just stuck it on here, this would be really dry in the middle and it'd be hard to time I got it all wet by pushing and all that stuff that it would move it out of whack. So I'm gonna just go ahead and wet a couple pieces. I put it on a piece of wood or something just to, I don't have to get the edges really good because the edges are still good on this. And I wanna go over from end to end and it doesn't matter if it hangs down just a little bit now these edges I can wet up here because I can push against the lawnmower now if I wasn't in a hurry if I left it just like this it'd be much easier to finish glassing it later because this would dry and I could push against this I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and uh, build it up some more afterwards. fiberglass and a rusted piece of crap mower. <laughs> well, it costs 200 bucks. I don't want to buy 200 bucks. Oh yeah, whenever you're not looking for one, they're everywhere. Uh, I'm not really looking. I've already fixed the front and I already, I'm 80% done fixing, fixing it now. So it's irrelevant now. <laughs> 